Dedicate some time to go through this video. I can assure you that you are going to be benefited by finding an easy way to solve the problem today. So today's problem is to find the positive roots of x cube minus x minus 1 using the bisection method. So in order to use the bisection method, first we have to consider f of x is equal to this is x cube minus x minus 1. First of all, if I keep x is equal to 0, then f of 0 will be 0 minus 0 minus 1. So which is minus 1, which is negative. And if I keep x is equal to 1, then f of 1 value will be 1 minus 1 minus 1. So this is again minus 1, which is negative. So again, I am checking with x is equal to 2. So f of 2 is equal to, this is 2 cube minus 2 minus 1. So which is 8 minus 3, which is equal to plus, this is a positive value. So here I got negative value and here I got positive value. So we have to stop substituting the values. So here we have to consider this value that is 1 as x0. x0 is equal to 1 and we have f of x0 value as a negative value and x1 value is equal to 2. So we have to consider this as x0 and x1. x1 is equal to 2 and f of x1 value is a positive value. So I'll, I'll write everything here. So we have, so this is, we have x0 is equal to 1 and f of x0 is less than 0 and x1 is equal to 2 and f of x1 is a positive value. So everything I will note here. So if there are different, different signs, we have to take these two points as a bisection. So next, so we want x2. So after getting x0, x1, so we have to find x2 value. So x2 value will be C. So this will be x0 plus x1 by 2. So this will be x0. What is x0 value? This is 1 plus 2 by, by 2. So this is nothing but 3 by 2. This is 1.5. So again we have to check f of x2. So f of x2 again I have to keep in this equation. That is f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1. So this will be 1.5 whole cube minus 1.5 minus 1. So if I use the calci so, if I check this, this is 1.5 uh, cube minus this is 1.5, this is minus 1. The answer is that uh, this is 0 0.875, which is a positive value. So, immediately we have to note down that our x2 value is nothing but 1.5 and f of x2 value we got as a positive value. So, if we get a positive value, so these are same signs. So, we have to use different, different signs for the next iteration. So, next our x3 value will be, say x3, x3 value will be C. So, these are of same signs. So, we have to use different signs. This is greater than and this is less than. So, I am using these two for bisection. So, this is x2, x0 plus x2 by 2. So, x3 value is 1 plus 1.5 by 2. So, x3 is nothing but this is 2.5 by 2 and x3 is equal to, see here, this is 2.5 divided by 2. This is 1 point, this is 2.5. I got x3 value as, see here, x3 value as 1.25. And again, I have to check x3. So, f of x3. For checking this f of x3, so, we have to substitute the value here. So, what is f of x? f of x is nothing but f of x is nothing but x cube minus x minus 1. So, f of x3 is nothing but f of this is 1.25. So, this is 1.25 which is equal to 1.25 cube minus 1.25 minus 1. So, if I check here, this is 1.25 cap 3 minus 1.25 minus 1 so which is minus 0 0.296875 which is a negative value so we got our f3 value as a negative value so this time i got a negative value so again for x4 which one i have to use so again for x4 i have to choose these two for bijection because this is less than and this is greater than so if we have different different size we have to choose these two so for x4 i'm using x2 x3 so this is x2 plus x3 by 2 so what is our x2 value this is 1.5 
this is 1.5 and this is 1.25 divided by 2. So, our x4 value will be, see our x4 value will be, that is 1.5 plus this is 1.25 divided by 2 and this is nothing but 1.375. So, we got our x4 value. So, our x4 value is 1.375. Again, we have to check f of x4. So, we have f of x value. So, we have f of x value as x cube minus x minus 1. So, I am going to check f of x4 that is 1.375 is equal to this is 1.375 whole cube minus this is 1.375 minus 1. And let, let me check here that is 1.375 whole cube minus 1.375 minus 1. So, this is a positive value that is uh, 0 0.224609. So, this is a positive value. So, if I get a positive value and negative value above, if there are two different signs, I have to use these two for the bijection. For the next value, for the next root x5, I am using x3 plus x4. See, this is x3 plus x4 by 2. So, x5 value is nothing but what is our x3 value? This is 1.25 and this is 1.375. This is divided by 2 and our x5 value will be this is 1.25 plus 1.375 divided by 2. The value is 1.3125. So, here we got our x5 value. So, this is our x5 value that is 1.3125. Again, I have to check f of x5. So, if I get f5, so f of x is nothing but x cube minus x minus 1 and f of x5 value is 1.3125 whole cube minus this is 1.3125, this is minus 1. And here, if you see, that is 1.3125 whole cube minus this is 1.3125 this is minus 1 and the answer is minus 0 0.051536 and which is a negative value. So, I got this f of x5 value as a negative value. So, next one so this is negative and this is positive these are of two different signs. So, again we have to choose x4 x5 as used for the bijection. So, x6 can be written as x4 plus x5 by 2. So, what is our x4 value? x4 value is nothing but 1.375 plus 1.3125 divided by 2. So, our x6 value will be, see here, this is 1.375 plus 1.3125 divided by 2. So, which is equal to 1.34375. So, this is x6. So, our x6 value will be, this is 1.34375 and f of x6 value is equal to, see here, again I have to check f of x6. So, which is equal to f of 1.34375, which is equal to x cube. So, in this equation, if I substitute 1.34375 whole cube minus this is 1.34375, this is minus 1. So, if I check here, so if I check here, that is 1.34375 cube minus this is 1.34 this is 375 minus 1 so which is a positive value that is f of x6 value is nothing but 0 0.0826183 so which is a positive value so which is a positive value so again i have to go with so, again I have to go with, so this is positive value and this is negative value. So, f of 7 value is nothing but the bisection of x5 and x6 by 2. So, what is f x5? x5 is nothing but 1.3125 and x6 value is nothing but this is 1.34375 divided by 2. So, our x5 
seven value will be see here this is 1.3125 plus this is 1.34 this is 375 divided by 2. So, which is equal to 1.28125. So, here we got our value as. So, which one, which value we got? So, we got this X7 value. So, immediately we have to note down. So, that there won't be any confusion here. So, we got X7 value as 1.328125. And F of X7 value. So, we have to check whether it is. A negative or positive so this is x cube minus x minus 1 and f of 1 point this is sorry this is f of x7 value is 1.328125 whole cube minus this is 1.328125 minus 1 so if I check this one so this will be 1.328125 cap 3 minus this is 1.328125 minus 1 so this value is nothing but 0 0.01457258 so which is a positive value so if i get a positive value here so this is positive and this is positive so we want different different signs so this is positive and again this is negative for our next bisection i am using x5 plus x7 so our x8 will be so this is x5 plus x7 by 2 so what is our x5 value so x5 is nothing but 1 point this is 3125 plus x7 value is 1.328125 divided by 2 so here if you see this is 1 point this is 3125 plus this is 1.328125 divided by 2 the value is so x8 value is 1.320 this is 3125 so after getting our x8 x8 after getting our x8 1.320 3125 again i have to check f of x8 whether it is positive or negative so f of x8 value is nothing but 1.3201235 this is whole cube minus 1.323125 this is minus 1 so this value will be 1.320 this is 3125 whole cube minus this is 1.320 this is 3125 minus 1 so which is a negative value so f of x8 is equal to minus 0 0.187106 so which is a negative value so if it's a negative value and positive value the next iteration we have to take so this is x9 will be x7 plus x8 by 2 so x9 is equal to this is 1.328125 plus 1.320 divided by 2 so the x9 value will be x9 value will be this is 1.32 this is 8125 plus this is 1.320 divided by 2 so which is 1.32 again so this is 1.32 this is 42 so we have to consider this one so x9 value is equal to this is 1.32 so 1.32 is common everywhere therefore I am concluding that hence the root of the given equation will be hence the root of the equation is x is equal to 1.32 so this is how we have to solve so this is most important that we have to see this signs so first of all let me explain you so this is the question that is x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 so first we have to keep x is equal to 0 1 2 until we get different signs so these are the same signs therefore i am going with x is equal to 2 so this is a different sign so we have to stop until we get different different signs so we have to consider this as x naught so x naught value and this as x1 value so after getting these two different different signs the next iteration will be x2 is equal to the bisection of these two that is x naught plus x1 by 2 so again so we have to check so 
we have to check the answer so x2 is equal to positive so they are these are the similar signs so we have to go with these two for the next iteration so uh, so x3 will be x0 plus x2 by 2 so this is negative so these are two different different signs so x4 will be x2 plus x3 by 2 and this is a positive value so these are different different signs so x5 will get by x3 plus x4 by 2 so after checking this one this is negative and this is positive so x6 will get by the bijection bisection of x4 plus x5 by 2 and this is again positive positive and negative so x7 can be obtained by x5 plus x6 by 2 and this is again positive so these are similar signs so we have to go with a different sign so this is positive we have to check with the negative sign so the x8 will be x5 plus x7 by 2 and this is negative again so so these are from three roots this is 1.32 is common everywhere therefore i have concluded that the root of the given equation is 1.32 this is how we have to solve hopefully these videos will be helpful to you and uh, they lead you ahead from where you are and practice daily and ha uh, have a look at my next videos too if you don't subscribe you know what to do please subscribe and share it with your friends